Hey guys, and welcome back to the Skyrim Mod Showcase. Today I'll be focusing on economy related mods for Skyrim. So, if you're into Skyrim mods, be sure to hit that subscribe button as I'll be making a lot more. Anyways, enjoy the video. First in our list is Trade and Barter. This is a highly popular economy overhaul mod for Skyrim, which dynamically adjusts merchant prices based on various factors such as knowledge, location, merchant type, status, relationship, and race. To elaborate even more, for instance, under knowledge, blacksmiths will recognize and value a player's skill at the forge, and offer better prices accordingly. So, the higher your smithing skill is, the better prices you will be offered. In addition, merchants in larger cities such as Solitude or Windhelm are expected to have more gold and sell items at a higher price, while merchants in smaller towns will have less gold and sell items for less. This mod also takes player status and reputation into account when determining merchant prices. As a thane, guild leader, or faction member, players can leverage their influence and bargaining power to receive better prices from merchants within the same faction or location. For example, being a thane in Morthal, merchants in the city will recognize your status and will offer discounts on their goods. On the other hand, being a member of a specific faction such as the Imperials, can earn players better prices from merchants affiliated with the same faction. One of the standout features of Trade and Barter mod is its extensive customization options. Players can tailor every aspect of the mod to suit their preferences using the MCM interface. This includes adjusting the base amount of gold that merchants have available, tweaking the rate at which merchants restock their inventory, and fine-tuning the impact of various factors on merchant pricing, such as player race and player status. Overall, Trade and Barter mod is a well-crafted and comprehensive overhaul of Skyrim's economy system, offering a plethora of features and customization options that can enhance gameplay. Its ability to dynamically adjust merchant prices based on various factors, coupled with its extensive customization options, make it a must-have mod for anyone looking to elevate their economic gameplay experience in Skyrim. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel as it helped my channel grow. Your support motivates me even more to make videos like this. Anyways, let's get right back into the video. Next up, we have Trade Routes. This mod is a highly immersive mod that offers a new level of depth to the trade system in Skyrim. This mod goes beyond simply adjusting merchant prices and instead introduces a dynamic and logical approach to availability and demand of goods. This mod is designed to ensure that merchants in different regions of Skyrim have access to a variety of goods and supplies that are unique to their respective location. This means that the availability of goods like food, ores, gems will vary depending on the region, and merchants will pay different prices for these goods depending on their local demand and supply. In vanilla Skyrim, all merchants of the same type have identical items for sale, with the same price, regardless of their location or supply and demand. Trade Routes offers a solution of the base game's economy by introducing over 30 trade routes, divided into two complete loops that connect every hold in Skyrim, except Whiterun, as well as additional location if certain mods are installed like Solstheim, Elsewhere, Wyrm's Tooth, and Falskar. The main long loop is designed with lower level and early game merchants in mind, providing a dynamic and potentially profitable opportunities for trade. The mod works by introducing a system that takes into account of the unique economic conditions of each region in Skyrim. For instance, in Windhelm, where ebony ore is abundant, ebony ores and ebony ingots are sold at relatively lower price compared to other regions. On the other hand, Selling ebony ores or ingots in Falkreath will be relatively more expensive, since Falkreath does not really have an abundant supply of ebony. Now, for the second loop, Trade Routes adds a layer of complexity to the trading system, as it requires players to have a good understanding of the supply and demand across different regions. This means that highly skilled and dedicated merchants can make a lot of profit without having to travel to far off regions. For instance, if Riverwood has a high demand for Honeybrew Mead, a merchant could travel to the nearby Honeybrew Meadery, buy bulk amounts of the mead at a lower price, and then sell it in Riverwood at a higher price. However, to be successful in this more complex trade system, it is advisable to invest a few perk points in the speech skill tree, which will help players negotiate better prices and make more profit. 
This mod also adds functionality to quests in Skyrim where players are tasked with clearing out mines overrun by bandits or hostile NPCs. In the base game, liberating a mine has no impact, but with this mod installed, the miners will resume work and the corresponding materials will drop in price while increasing merchant supply in the region. Overall, Trade Route is an excellent mod that significantly enhances the economic aspect of Skyrim by introducing a dynamic and logical approach to the availability and demand of goods. This mod is perfect for players who want to experience a more immersive and realistic economy in Skyrim, with merchants offering unique inventories based on the resources that are abundant in the region. Next mod I want to showcase is Landlord. Landlord is a mod that adds new ways to earn gold by allowing players to invest in properties such as stores and taverns. By establishing trading contracts and managing the properties, players can earn a steady stream of income. To start the quest, the player needs at least 5,000 gold in their pocket. After some time, a courier will deliver a letter from a friend to begin the quest. The value of properties depends on several factors such as the race difference of the player and the current owner, the player's speechcraft level, the relationship between the player and the owner, and also the location of the business, whether the business is located in a small town or a bustling city. In order to ensure the success of your purchase property, it's important to engage in trading contract. One way to do this is by buying a trading contract from either the Clan Shattered Shields or the East Empire Company. These contracts will boost the income of your shops based on the corresponding civil war faction in the area. For example, if you own a shop in Whiterun and the area is controlled by the Legion, purchasing a contract from the East Empire Company will increase the income of your shop. Conversely, if the area is controlled by the Stormcloaks, purchasing a contract from the Clan Shattered Shields will increase your shop's income. Overall, Landlord is an excellent mod that provides players with a unique and engaging way to earn gold through property we're investments, fighting, with multiple factors affecting the value of properties such as race difference, speechcraft, and location. Though I must admit, the LE version was way better as it had a lot more features in it compared to what SE version currently have. It is still an interesting mod and another way of earning and spending your money, so if you're looking for a new and exciting way to earn gold in Skyrim, Landlord is definitely a mod worth checking out. Another cool merchant type mod is Jormark Stalls. This mod is my personal favorite as I always wanted to have my own stall but I couldn't find a mod that does that and is probably the closest that we can get as of now. Crafting your market stall only requires a few basic materials such as 6 firewood, 2 iron ingots and 3 leather. You will then need to find the perfect location to set it up. It is recommended that you choose a location with high traffic to maximize your chances of attracting customers. The ideal location is usually in the center of the city, beside other market stalls. Setting up your market stall is incredibly simple and can be done in just a few steps. Once you have crafted your market stall, all you need to do is drop it from your inventory in the desired location. Opening the shop's menu will give you different options to choose from, such as adding or removing items, adjusting prices, and even dismissing your shop. My personal tip is to keep the prices below 10% or negotiate each time. And this is just for now, as we still need to build up our reputation and speech skill. What I like about this mod is its immersive display of your inventory. When you add items to your market stall, they are visually displayed for customers to browse and purchase. It's also important to note that at the beginning, there may be times when no NPCs will visit your stall. This is because you are still building your reputation as a merchant. However, as you continue to sell your goods and increase your reputation, more customers will begin to visit your stall. And finally, this mod also offers the option to ask your follower to run the stall for you. This can be incredibly useful if you need to step away from the game or you simply want to do other things. All you need to do is speak to your follower and select can you run this stall for me and that's it. Overall, your market stall is a simple mod that adds a unique and enjoyable element to Skyrim. It's perfect for those who love to roleplay as a merchant, but it's also a great addition for anyone looking to add more variety to their gameplay experience. Next up, we have Coins of Interest. This is a mod that goes beyond just adding new types of coins to Skyrim. The new coins that are added are not just randomly scattered around the world, but rather they are placed in locations that are logical and make sense within the Elder Scrolls universe. You will no longer find Septims on Draugr, adding a sense of realism to the game. 
Coins of Interest also acts as a lightweight economy overhaul that makes the process of getting rich in-game more challenging and rewarding. The new coins you will come across in dungeons will generally be worth less than a normal gold coin, making it much harder to get rich quick off off a few dungeons. This adds a new level difficulty and depth to the game, as players will need to work harder to accumulate wealth as they progress through their playthrough. Each coin is unique in its design and value, with some being rarer and more valuable than others. This encourages players to seek out different locations and explore the game world more thoroughly, as they may come across valuable coins that are only found in specific areas. And upon pickup, it will also automatically turn the coin's value into gold. Additionally, Coins of Interest Merchant Exchange mod adds an extra layer of immersion by allowing players to manually exchange their collected coins at general goods merchants instead of automatically converting them into gold. This makes the player feel more like part of the game world as they have to interact with the economy and NPCs in a more realistic way. To use this mod, simply visit a general goods store after collecting the ancient coins and speak to the trader about exchanging them for gold. It will then automatically convert the coins into septins that correspond to its value. Overall, combining both mods creates a more challenging economy system that adds to the overall immersion of the game. Another remarkable and more complex mod that enables you to buy properties is Real Estate Continued. As the name implies, this mod introduces a wide range of properties that you can purchase throughout the game world. Whether you aspire to own a bustling shop, a cozy inn, a productive mine, a spacious house, or even a flourishing farm. Now, to begin your journey as a landlord in Skyrim, all you need to do is follow these simple steps to activate and utilize its features effectively. First, we need to acquire the book. So to acquire this book, you need to visit a general goods store and purchase a book titled How to Become a Landlord. This informative guide will provide you with essential information about available properties and process of property ownership. Once you have read the book, make your way to Dragon's Reach. Inside, locate a safe that contains two important items, the Master Ledger and Ledger's Quill. The Master Ledger allows you to review your current property status. It provides an overview of your properties and the respective details. While the Ledger Quill is used to update and manage your properties. Once you have done all that, before purchasing any properties, ensure that you have unlocked the specific perk requirement associated with them. If desired, you can disable the perk requirement feature in the mod settings. Now, all you need to do is look for signs indicating that a property is available for purchase. These signs will be displayed at the respective properties, allowing you to identify and approach them. Once you have acquired a property, you have the ability to set the amount that tenants must pay for their occupancy. Adjusting the payment amount affects their behavior towards you. Charging less may result in friendlier interactions and better prices from merchant tenants, while charging too much may lead to higher prices and disapproval. And that's basically it. It's worth mentioning that each type of property offers unique benefits. Owning a shop grants you discounts on the items sold there, while owning a mine allows you to receive extracted ores from your hired miners. And if you own a farm, you can receive a portion of the food produced by the farm. In summary, this mod offers a more intricate and comprehensive landlord system compared to other similar mods, as it provides a wide range of purchasable properties with distinct features and benefits. Another mod worth mentioning is Evolving Value Economy. This mod is a more updated mod that's quite similar to Trade and Barter and Trade Routes in one mod, but has its differences. As this mod takes Skyrim's bartering system to a whole new level by considering factors beyond just the player's speech skills. This mod recognizes that pricing is influenced by a variety of elements such as the availability of resources in a particular region, the time of year, the proximity to major cities, and even the current state of the civil war. This mod evolves the game's economy by considering various factors that affect prices and bartering. Here are some of the key enhancements. Under resources, each region hold has a unique abundance of resources, like farms and mines. For example, holds with more farms such as Whiterun will offer cheaper farm products due to higher supply. On the other hand, holds with fewer supply results in higher prices. Next, we have Seasons. The mod introduces a seasonal variation that affects availability of resources. Harsh climates and colder seasons in northern holds lead to scarcity, impacting prices accordingly. Then we have Location. Prices also fluctuate based on your current location. Holds closer to the war thorn areas experience increased demand for materials and products, leading to higher prices. 
This reflects the economic impact of supporting troops during the Civil War. We also then have reputation as a key factor, progressing within the four main factions, the Companions, College of Winterhold, Thieves Guild, and the Dark Brotherhood, improves your reputation with all barter targets. This reputation boost enhances your bartering abilities with vendors, innkeepers, and stewards. And lastly, we have Civil War progression. As the Civil War unfolds, prices dynamically change. At the beginning, you'll encounter lower prices, but as war progresses, prices increase to reflect the escalating conflict. Once the Civil War concludes, prices stabilize, offering a sense of economic post-war recovery. And don't forget that this mod also comes with the MCM menu, which allows you to tailor the experience to your liking. Overall, this mod offers a compelling experience that is definitely worth trying out. As one of its greatest strengths is the way it evolves alongside your progress in the world of Skyrim. The dynamic nature of the mod ensures that the factors mentioned have a tangible impact on the game's economy. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel as I will be posting a lot more of these. Don't forget to endorse all mod authors as we won't be even playing Skyrim without them. Your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to always stay safe and have fun in your Skyrim adventures. Happy modding everyone.